Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And the first thing we're gonna do in our Photoshop setup video is we're going to change the graphic settings for Photoshop to high performance. So here you can see the settings here, system, power saving, and high performance. We're choosing high performance. To get here, you're gonna to go to display. So you right click on the desktop, choose display. That is gonna bring you uh, right over here to system, display, scroll down, choose graphic settings, and then we're gonna choose classic app, browse, find Photoshop, uh, Photoshop, by the way, is in, by default, go to this PC, local disk, program files, Adobe, Photoshop 2018, scroll down, and you're going to see the EXE file here, click Add. And then you select Options and choose High Performance and click Save. Now, this won't run until the next time that you start Photoshop. So just make sure that you close Photoshop and open it if you've already got it running in the background. So you've installed Tablet Pro and you click down here, right click and choose layout. We're gonna choose load preset. The definitive way to find the file if you're having trouble is you go to C drive, program files, scroll down to touch mouse pointer, which is the name of the component. And then right here in this file, this folder, is the different files here. You can go Photoshop, CC, I and I. I'm gonna click Open, Apply, and then right click here and choose Artist Pad. And that's gonna bring up the standard Photoshop UI. All right, so let's talk about getting Photoshop set up. So there's a couple different things that I have set up in Photoshop that are not there by default. So the first ones let's adjust is we'll go to edit and let's go to preferences, general. Now I like when I adjust, <clears throat> when I adjust the brush size, I like to be able to go up and down and adjust opacity. So that's under tools, very brush hardness based on HUD vertical movement. Deselect that makes that uh, change opacity with the selected is going to change brush hardness. I also have used shift key for tool switch deselected. And what that allows me to do is cycle through the different options here uh, on the side. Uh, so normally if you were to drag out, you'll see these two options or drag out and you'll see other options, two more options. Uh, basically anything that's in this drag out menu, you can cycle through by uh, pressing the same hotkey again. All right, in order to customize that, I go into here and drag out. And this menu here, if you want like the brush tool, mixer brush tool, and the smudge tool, I use all of these. Okay, if I want to change the shortcut uh, smudge tool to this button over here, I can just press that uh, button here and that shortcut will go into here. If there's a tool that I don't use, let's say I don't use the magic eraser tool, I can just drag it over here and because I have disable shortcuts for hidden toolbar extras there, when I'm cycling through uh, shortcuts for the eraser one, so here I'm, I'm only getting these two, I'm no longer getting the magic eraser. Okay, and here I'm getting smudge tool, and brush. All right, so here, let's show the brush. And Photoshop is a little laggy today, which feels a little bit like a weather report. I'm not exactly sure why some days it's smooth and other days it's not, but uh, be that as it may, we'll continue through this tutorial. All right, so edit, let's go to keyboard shortcuts. And we have a couple here that need to be changed immediately. We're changing First thing we're changing is we're making step backward, control Z. And we're gonna go down here to window and scroll way down until you start seeing brushes and channels. We're gonna select brushes, tap the brushes button. Uh, then we're gonna go to swatches 
and we're going to tap the swatch button. And let's see if we have one more here, layers. Layers should by default be set to F7, but if not, we're going to go ahead and press that button. All right, that should be all of the shortcuts. So let's go over what those shortcuts do. Uh, up here, we have control. I'm sorry, we have copy, paste, and cut, enter, escape, and F, which is going to change the full screen mode. Uh, again, this is my preference here. I like when everything is expanded out, and then you can just open up the palettes as you need them. And by the way, this is key press OSD. I'll put a link in the description that shows the shortcuts that are being pressed. All right, then we have the lasso tool, and then deselect, which is control D. Then we have the selection tool. I'm going to switch back to brush, uh, control, shift, uh, undo, uh, layer panel, and then new layer. All right, so adjusting the brush size, alt control right click. Up and down, adjust opacity. The space bar. And this one, it might work by tapping and then using the pen as opposed to holding down and trying to use the pen. So tap and use the pen. All right, here is our color selector. And this one uh, tends to be a little problematic. Some days it works well, other days not as well. When it is working, uh, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. It's definitely one of my favorite tools. Because you can very quickly um, get a lot of beautiful color changes. All right, you guys get the idea. Uh, Alt to select color. Uh, this works again by tapping, tapping, and then moving the pen over the area where you want to sample colors. Uh, brushes opens the brush pack. And I recommend getting the, installing the uh, brushes from Kyle. They're free now. Just go here and get more brushes and then download that pack. Uh, this, for some reason, doesn't download in um, Microsoft Edge browser, so you're gonna have to use a different browser to get these, but um, they're free and well worth it. All right, so let's close the brushes. This I have, um, let's go ahead and hop out of this mode. Uh, this I have to select between uh, mixer brush and regular brush and uh, often smudge. All right, and then clear for some reason right now is not working. However, uh, what that does is that takes normal mode and you can erase instead of add, which gives you the same texture in your erasing process. So once you use this clear to get back to normal, you'd press uh, normal uh, norm right here. All right, down here you have screen and multiply modes. And again, back to normal. Blend for some reason is set to E, which is you know, giving you your eraser tool. And I'm not sure exactly why uh, I think that's an error, but the one that you have in the uh, brush presets is gonna have that same error, so you can change that. Uh, swatch, so I can pick colors easily. And then uh, we change this one to the smudge tool. Let's bring the size of that down a little bit. And I love the smudge tool. Uh, this one is going to open up the uh, voice to text. This will open up the keyboard here. Uh, this is the start menu. And this is the assist pad. All right, that's it for Photoshop. If you guys have specific questions about something I'm doing here, um, or if you find out how to make something work better like this color picker, uh, that'd be great to uh, share in the comments so that we can all benefit from it. 
Uh, hopefully you guys find this helpful. Uh, please subscribe. We'll be having more videos coming out soon. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, and until next time, stay creative.